Another small video everyone, just small. I'm on the rampart still. Just come up here, there's a slant coming up. This is all the hill for it. Various features where there would have been some sort of building, settlement. On the top there, we're climbing up. I thought I'd do a little bit going up the top. The thing is, um, borrowing Zara's tripod, the only problem is carrying it. It's more equipment to carry. I don't bring a stick anymore because it's extra to carry. Uh, today I, I thought about the umbrella and I thought, no, they really said it wasn't going to rain. So I thought it's all extra to carry. Waterproofs all extra to carry and if I had thought it was a bit do more dodgy yeah waterproofs they don't really weigh much nothing really weighs a lot it's when you put it all together now I keep to a small bag I keep to a small bag the bigger bag I use right over there's the Mendips Air of Outstanding Beauty over there if I use a bigger bag I'll fill it up more I put more in it. Do you know, I watched this program about the Pennines last night, and I think, God, I wish I could go up. When you've got your transport, you are so restricted, you can't really just take off. It's a, I'm hoping I will get transport in the next year or so. I hope I do. I do I've got places I want to go before I'm too bloody old. Before the petrol goes crazy. But I watched this programme about the Pennines. England's longest hiking route. The Pennine Way. And I've not, not done it. I, I've, I've recently found uh, some ancestors from the w Wensley Dell area. And uh, with with graves, and I want to go and visit there. I need to be able to get up there, either find a campsite or bed and breakfast or something, so I can explore where those ancestors. So they're going back times four. Great grandparents. You've got a Jane Robinson who married a Buckton. She married a Buckton. And they had a very famous son, or somebody had a famous son, it might not have been them, they might be a great grandparent, but um, there was a, I've got loads of information about him. They called him Bugsy Buckton because he was very um, knowledgeable. He, he was friendly with Darwin and people like that. Yeah, I've got, uh, I want to get purchase some of his books actually. It all costs money. Little outcrop there where something was, little areas there, little ponds. This is what I. Oh no, we're not quite there yet. In a minute, I'm climbing up what I always call part of the bosom of Robero Hill Fort. Part of the bosom. There'll be a dip in a minute and then there'll be another bit on the other side. This is the bosom of the hill fort. This is the highest point of Robero Hill Fort, everyone, that I'm climbing. Going back to Pennine Way, like I said, I'd love to be able to do that. Or some of it. <sighs> More walks in Cumbria I'd like to do, but I'm getting older. It's getting... There's no time when you're young. You're working. You've got a family. I used to run. I had other interests. I used to be a runner and a swimmer. But I, my kids could join in on those things. We could join in now together, but they won't want to go slow like me. I, I am slow now. I, um, and I like being slow, actually. I actually enjoy it. No, I don't think I'm told yet. I've got a good 10 years, maybe 20 of walking. But I, if I'm going to do the, any other Pennine way, I've got to get a move on. 
but for now look what you've got area of outstanding natural beauty this all used to be mining Shipham and row barrow mining areas all covered up with trees now all scarred underneath by the surface mining in the past further over much further over you've got lead um, velvet bottom where the Romans the Victorians really went to work It'll be a bit windy now, so I'll be turning off, but right over there, there's a big campsite where the outdoor pursuit people set up camp and they, they do a lot with young people there, teaching them map and compass. I often walk past there when I'm coming from the quarry. All the images I did last time of the quarry and over there were eradicated by accident by me. Thought I'd saved them, hadn't. Formatted the memory card, all lost. All that part over there, what I'd done not long ago, all lost, even though I'd viewed them. I thought, oh, that one's all right, that one's all right. I didn't save it. Big learning curve. I, that's the first time I've ever done it. I'm really thorough. I get it all done, documented in the notebook. When I looked in the notebook, I hadn't documented that I'd saved it. I said, Sheila, you hadn't documented. And I never rechecked. No, I never rechecked either. Right, no sign of any cows at the moment, folks. They have been known to hide out in the woods there. They might not have let them out here yet. Over and right out. If we dip, the battery will be going dead on this in a minute. But we've done the hill for it because I never really stay long. There's the bosom of the hill for it. Never really stay long. I like to come up and visit there and have a look. This is what I call the parade. This is the long route up to the hill fort, and you can just imagine people coming up here, can't you? In the past. There's, there might even be some sort of things going on this day and age where people all meet up and do this walk. A lot of people, I mean. They might even dress up. I don't know. People coming now. And people coming now. Very close to the end now. Just leaving this part of the hill fort now. There's the warren over there. I'm going to head in for a track over there and then going up a track. That's plan A. Down now. All in there is a butterfly reserve area, apparently. In there. Here we've got all the tall trees, all the tiny, tall pine trees. Further over we'll have that beautiful valley that I went up. I'm not going up that one today. I'm going up another one, which I think I've come down before now. So it means I've got to go down here and then sort of cut across to get on that track. There. I don't know how easy that's going to be yet. I can't remember actually. Not quite sure how we do it now. I can't remember it because there's a, a church, a lower track down there that people go on. Um, I can't remember if there's a track leading off that will take me over to that one over there. I can't remember. I can only remember when I do it from the other way. Right, this is sort of a stop now. We're checking time here. I'm having a bar of chocolate, drink of water and a banana. So this is... A lovely place to stop. Yeah, very dark green, aren't they? Very dark wood in places, by the way. Of course, quite often I've just gone on, carried on, then climbed up the air of outstanding beauty. I've done that loads of times. It's slightly different way today. That's what it says, butterflies. This butterfly reserve, Dalbury Warren, 
Yeah. Right then, I'm just going to put the camera down for a sec. It's going to go off soon. And I get over this stone. Charge. I think it's the 20th, it's either the 19th or the 20th today. 19th, 19th of May 2022, everyone. It's time for a break. Time to get the water out. one already, that one, yeah. Put that back in. There's more water. I've got fruit juice. It's a glucose fix for later. Um, in here I've got my big picnic. Somebody coming. Jeez. Arrow. Banana. I've also got cheese and tomatoes in there. A small cake. Somebody coming. An oat bar. And two oranges and some sweets. A drink first. Somebody's coming, but they're not. I'm not sure if they're coming up here. They're going very slow. There it is. Yeah, they're coming up. I think they're coming up here. Right then. I'm going to eat my banana first. They're coming up here, I think. It's all right. It's time just to do a small video. Oh, I was going to check the time, wasn't I? Check the time. What do you reckon, folks? Half twelve? Twelve o'clock. Five to twelve. That's very good. Very good. Right, let's just put that bar of chocolate in there for a minute. There's a Sheila. Out in the Somerset countryside. Mmm. 